Welcome back guys to another episode of Craftsman Fishing guys Well guys, I got some lights in my car I know guys, it's been raining lately a little bit But today I stay home to fix this problem So, you know, between pay 3,000 bucks and do it myself I think I'm going to do it myself I prefer to lose one day of work That I had to pay like a $3,000 on the dealer So already talking with some mechanics they want me to pay three thousand dollars and i want to do that guys no way no way jose so anyway so i got this light right here and already do some changes uh the first thing guys i was thinking if you can see the light right there guys i'm going to show you very well that light that i got right there guys is the engine light the bsf no bsc of light the sleeping tires you know when the you know when you got a sleeping roll you know the thing the traction and I got the ABS too. So that's two different problems, guys. So I have the a ABS stand for, uh, if I'm not wrong, like the paper the lady tell me, you don't have to spend a lot of money, guys, and get in, trying to get it like, like stuff, you know, from from a store, you know, and you think the store, you know, don't wanna help you nothing. Actually, they help you a lot, guys. Because I was, you know, trying to figure out some stuff and the lady give me a paper and she tell me how to change my pumps, my my secondary, you know, air pumps. But no, already, already, you know, you know. Well, what's part of the problem, guys? Because the air pump is the is you know it's the first problem you have. What I'm gonna say that that's the first problem, guys. When you got the air pump, guys, the air pump, you know, is that you know that air pump is is actually pushing air to the catalyst converter so it's pushing the the air there to you know to make the gas you know the the gas you know flow more faster you know and the engine you know can you know reach you know a normal temperature but problem is guys when these airs you know start you know sucking air they start getting you know a little water inside or something accumulation of water you know one the time the condensation and this thing is stuck you know make it stuck you know the valves so that's what i got now guys i got a stuck valve a guy tell me I can clean the bowels, but I don't want to do that. And I was looking for the part, guys, and I cannot find it. But the good thing is, guys, I found a part that match the situation that I want to change. Actually, guys, this is for um, <clears throat> 2008, I think, for 5.7 uh, liters, you know, motor. And I know, you know, that's different. It's really different, different. But actually, the top of the uh, sensors are the same. The only the only thing the change is the uh, is the direction of the connectors, but that's okay. I can make it work. So the, the only thing I'm gonna change, guys, is the top of the connectors. I know I'm gonna be you know not doing the warranty. I was trying to get a part, guys, but everything was over four hundred dollars, guys. So and this cost me like a one eighty, so it's less. And I just need a top part. So when you wanna, guys, make sure you know when you wanna make sure this is okay. The only thing you have to do. And they have to be closed when the motor start running, you know. The, the only thing is that, you know, uh, putting air back is when the this you start the, the the motor. So how you can test that this, the, uh, this is good, like this. Not supposed to be open, that's closed. So that one is good to go. So what we're gonna do, guys, is today, we're gonna change those today. Let's go, let's go. Okay, guys. The only thing that you want to need, guys, is going to be a, a set of keys for, you know, for, uh, well, actually, you know, for branches, you know. Actually, buy a new one. How is it going to fit in my, in my, yeah, it's fitting good. I was looking one like those because my bag is missing that one. I got all the back. No, all the back, you know, got it missing. I got my whole set right there, guys. Eh, yeah, most fitting, but it's okay. Uh, I'll make it fit later, so I can cut pieces here anyway. So that's later for, for another video. So, okay, guys. I know it's going to sound crazy, but that's what I use, guys. Bray Park Cleaner. This thing clean all the grease and stuff. Even it's used for uh, brakes. I'm going to use it for this uh, thing because I want to clean very well the area I want to be working. I got some uh, penetrating oil in case something is really, 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 really uh, bad. And we're going to use... Uh, a star bit set so because the if you can see right here guys what we're gonna take it as those guys the top and we're gonna change here this one's here guys but but to go through there guys we have to do a lot of things first thing is i want to tell you guys when you're doing this kind of work 
when you got it that kind of uh, light is you show you know the engine light the sleeping uh you know uh light and the other light is like it's like uh the engine no the engine light you know there's the bs bsc off you know when that show up guys first thing you have to do guys don't do what i'm doing now okay because if that happened guys it's possible you got a bad gas if you got a bad gas the only thing you have to do is two things let it run for another at least uh, 16 16 miles 20 miles and maybe reset and the other thing you have to do guys is you gas you gas cap i used change it because i was thinking it was that actually my bus cap you know my gas cap was bad so i buy a new one and I replace it but the thing don't go away so actually it's really tight guys right now i don't know why anyway so okay so i'm gonna take it off it's a new one that I buy, you know, and you know, like everybody else, you know, buying stuff, you know, from for internet. So you have to make sure that you buy parts, the original parts, okay? No try to buy things then the store they say this fit. No guys, don't do that. Because the Toyota is almost like you see here? One click guys, that's it. Yeah, but it's really tight. I like that. It's really tight. Very, very, very tight. You see? One click guys, and that's it. And I change the part guys because it's like a I compare to you like an iPhone guys because iPhone you know can put any kind of charger or thing because the battery is gonna be dying or something right Toyota same thing buy the parts are original that's what I did I buy the I buy a cab it's not was original and give me the light again and I was putting the cab and give me the light again and I say okay whatever and then guys I change the cap if you change the cap guys the gas cap maybe save you a couple hundred dollars because that's the only problem you have but if uh, the the light don't go away guys even you can reset again the uh engine light guys you disconnect the negative positive of the battery and that's it guys that's all you have to do so what i'm going to do guys is up as, as part of the thing we're going to disconnect the battery when this when we disconnect the battery guys we're going to let it sit there for like what uh maybe a couple maybe 30 minutes one hour whatever time you use them for changing the other valves because i'm pretty sure the valve because i got the paperwork here let me show you Guys, you don't have to spend money or think about it. It is this or it's not. So the best thing you can do, guys, if uh, you're not sure if it's a gas cap or whatever, just go to AutoZone or Auto Parts where they give you, you know, the free thing about checking engine light. Some guys are good at stores, so guys, some guys not, guys. So I'm just saying, you know. But remember, guys, the whatever codes they give it to you can be possibilities that whatever is wrong more when the system or emission so in my case uh, they give me the price and everything guys i got it here they tell me if i change the smoke pump is the pump is under here guys it's under here it's it's two big bolts when two uh when two like uh fans pushing the air through this valve right here so those guys already check i clean one was when we're out of water and now i'm going to the to to the bow one so that one's wrong that, yeah that one i got a problem in that one because that one's open and the other one's closed so i, I really using it to change one to make it the whole thing work but i'm gonna change both anyway because i got it both anyway so i already checked that one guys i'm pretty sure guys that that ones are okay because i open it i clean it i make a new seals and everything and install back so that one i, I, I already tested when you know 12 bolts if I, you can do it good guys and she told me buy this one I'm gonna do guys the best I can. I'm gonna replace first the valves that I think because she give me even had she tell me how to change my flexible gasket uh, you know thing between this supposed to be guys more work. These are around two thousand dollars guys. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> and for you see my only thing the pass and the reading codes over there and the AutoZone was power yeah power train system anti-lock brakes don't pass so until wrong with that i'm gonna i'm gonna check it later and several internal lights that's what it shows so uh, if you see guys the only thing that passed was this one you know they did you not know, the check thing the abc don't pass the anti-lock brake system that's what i stand for abc abs you have to really guys make sure about this one guys because that can save your life the anti-lock brake system you have to make sure that's working so i don't i want to check it out that one but you know it's more complicated than this one the powertrain system why because the car when the fee was some kind of discommunication the system and the air don't you know well the bow don't make the work to close the bow and so and the car going and say mo what i want to say about say mo guys uh the car going the situation guys the car 
is uh, like uh, no over uh, 40 miles an hour you put it all the gas through don't accelerate don't think it's the, acceler the accelerator I used to change the accelerator I was thinking it was that I go into a dealership they change it they make a good job whatever but the same thing guys I was thinking they was doing the wrong work whatever but I'm gonna bring it back again over there to they can make me a calibration and everything and check the pedal and whatever I'm gonna do that to make, make the calibration for free I'm gonna do it Friday anyways and you know I'm gonna use take you know my time to take it everything apart I'll show you let's go let's go first thing to do guys we're gonna take it out of the housing because I'm sure you're using something like a stepping on it's just be careful when it's so wet you can fall so let me take it out of the housing first you can use a you know a screwdriver a flat screwdriver or a number 10 that one work too so I want to take it out of this one first and when you take it out of this one guys it just goes slow slow it goes slow slow don't try to make it too hard Oy. let me help you guys you fall here on the camera so okay, let me see all right so go slow slow guys and try to take it out of the house okay almost there oh. And first thing guys, I don't use my gloves, I don't, always, I forgot to use my gloves anyway, so, okay, let me put it on. Okay guys, I put my gloves on, always my friends complain about I don't put my gloves on, and to make easy for your job guys, it's better to take out more parts of what you have to take. So I'm gonna take out of the filter. I take out of the housing or the filter. So <clears throat> I hope this helps somebody, you know, over there trying to spend money. I don't think nobody wants to spend three thousand dollars on something. So okay, I take take out of the filter, the housing aside. Now we got a bolt here, guys. I got a very rough bolt here, but it's okay. If I broke or something, I can make a thread to use take it out and put a new one. So we're gonna use for that ones. I just let you know right now. Final row is gonna be 10 millimeters. Like I always we use. Always guys you get your tools organized because that's gonna save you a lot of time. So and we're gonna do it with a small wrench. We don't got much space there, so and we're gonna use a tension to make it, you know, a little little space between you know whatever cables and stuff right there. So we're gonna go like this guys. We're gonna go like this, let's see. We're gonna take it out of that one. Uh uh, that one's rusted. Let me see if that one works. No, that's so it's a 12 millimeters, okay? I was thinking it was 10, but it's 12. It's a little bigger. Let's try 12. If I use not 10 and 12, which number it is? That's a good question. Uh, let's try it. Thing again, maybe it's the rust that don't let me go through, but I'm remembering the paperwork that I found. It's 10 millimeters, that was weird. So let me check again. Let's see. Okay, here's 10 millimeters, guys. It's just really rusty, guys. Once they got the housing, guys, do the job right, and you can see. Uh, no, that one's really rusty, guys. That one had to go when the drill. Like I say, guys, if you got tools, good. If I don't got tools, guys, that can be a problem. <clears throat> yep, 10 millimeters. That one go very well. Yep, it's going. So you wanna need guys the uh, 10 millimeters right here for this housing. I know guys, I can take it out the parts away without taking out this housing, but I wanna make a more clear space. And anyways, I had to clean out this and change this ugly bolt. So anyway, so something happened when went down, down there, I wanna just change it. We'll get at the right parts. I know you can modify stuff guys and do whatever, you know, but Better not, guys. Better not. Okay, 10 millimeters. That's what I was here. So let me put this one away. Remember, guys, always when you do this, guys, disconnect the batteries. 
for any you know, for any ele electrical problems. So, okay, guys, I got this one off. Okay, then it's almost off. I got have to take it out one more and take it out another here. This one's really, 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 really rusty, guys. I don't know how I'm gonna take it off. Okay, guys, let me go get uh, my pan to put my, my screws because I don't want to mess that up when the screws. So let's go. All the time, guys, get a pan where you can put your stuff on it, like this one. And you know, this is magnetic. You know, they're not gonna go nowhere. And you know where you got your stuff on it anyway. So I'm gonna put it here. And we're gonna keep going. So let me see when that one over there. I'm gonna try, guys. If I'm not, I have to use the drill to take it off and let it with the plier because uh, when it's rusty, it's rusty, guys. The more these uh, Toyota Tundras, guys, there are a lot of issues about the. Uh, about, about the uh, uh, about the Ross actually guys I lose the warranty they was 2007 I go check it out over there see if they can give me the uh, warranty about changing the whole uh, thing about changing the whole uh, chassis for the car now oh, guys in 2019 was close the thing so I cannot change the thing even it's really rusted to death so, oh guys I break it loose that's good I'm gonna clean up and put some grease on it. If you put some grease on it, or oh, anything, guys, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. So, I'm doing this guy, like I said, guys, just to try to make it more space and you can see actually. Eh, I think it's a good thing anyway. So, you can see, I take it off. I got most of the housing loose. It's off. Good, I got space down. So, and actually, that's a main thing. So, I put it to the side. Always, guys, it's good to get it like a small key. I want to show you why this telling me the mirror so this happened guys you stop it do not pull it hard guys it happened to me now right now they don't want to come off and you stop it in the ground be careful with the thread and you see i got it right off like that you're using the key like this and you can take it a bit easy i'm going to clean up and try to reuse if i'm not i'm going to i'm going to try to get a new one and that one that was weird that one not even got it like a like a washer nothing maybe they already remove it already but i'm gonna put a washer if i can't always guys when you got some kind of chemical on it always guys always always clean your stuff around yeah i was looking for here no got no yeah no got no washer that's a bad thing anyway so always clean the stuff you put it on it's gonna make more stuff you know it gets thick now this one guy you have to disconnect okay you have to be very careful about those guys okay very careful for first reason guys if you mess it up one of those cables guys you have to buy a new set of harness all the way through that's going to be a more problem guys so what you do to make those guys i want to show you Use a very small screwdriver, guys. You're going to use the flat one, the flat screwdriver, not the Felix. You're going to try to pry a little bit in this one down, and then you're going to push it down, okay? You see here? You're going to pry up a little bit, and you're going to pull it up. You're going to pry a little bit here, guys, like you can see here, up, and you pull it up. Don't pull it very hard, guys. It's a like click, you see? It's a click, go inside, click, that's connected. So we're gonna take out this one right here slowly. We're gonna take it out slowly, and that's it. Now, guys, this ones I had to take it apart because I know don't work in the assembly that I got it now. To make it work more easy, guys, you have to take it out this part right here. I'm gonna explain why right now because when you put the whole, actually you don't even need it, but you need it because the screws is behind the thing. So I'll show you why. Again, put some some penetrate uh, penetrating. Uh, oil penetrating oil here guys a little bit not too much like i said these parts are very sensible stuff because it's all like electric stuff here and you do your 10 millimeter again <sighs> yeah you see come on right off because this one no got a more oxidized no got much contact with the water actually guys most of the cars from toyota tundras and tacomas and from the first generation second generation Got a lot of issues about rust here in the north, right? Other places like, uh, you know, the south, no got too much ice and, you know, and no got too much problem about, about, you know, about, about snow. No got much problem about it. I'm gonna say it again, guys, here, here. And I'm gonna put it to the side. Like I said, guys, I know I had to, I had to make some changes here because the direction that this going here, guys, is not the same direction that I got over there. I'm gonna show you. 
I buy the same system that work for both cars. So you see this? The same direction, the same direction. Same thing. You see only thing change is the bracket. I know I'm gonna lose the warranty guys. I can if I want put it here, but you see the direction here in the bow is different from this one. And they don't got it all the parts guys. So I'm, I don't got no choice guys. I have to do what I have to do, right? To make it work. So if I go in guys to the other store and try to get it, it's gonna take me four or five days and I cannot lose work. So okay now we're gonna put it, we're gonna take out of the hoses. I'll show you how. The best uh, you can use, guys, is this ones. But just be careful, okay? Very careful when you're doing this. Okay? You can do like this, guys. You go here, and you go slowly, guys. Don't do this hard, okay? Slowly, you pressure and hold it down, and that's it, guys, okay? You see here? They got a click right here. It's designed, guys, to hold the click right there. I don't know if you can see it, guys. When you pull it, guys, don't just pull and leave it there. You have to pull it all the way through and that click holder right there is gonna be open, okay? You have to be smart guys when you're doing something. Okay, you take care of this one here and that's it. Same thing with the other one. You have to be smart, very smart. Everything is designed to work in different ways, okay? I don't wanna pay $3,000 for fix so easy like this. And we wanna replace the pants or yeah, whatever, whatever, the, 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 the air pants or whatever. I don't believe in uh, nothing of that. I prefer doing myself. Sorry guys, but many mechanics make themselves, you know, bad reputation. So what I can tell you about it, you know. Okay. Let me do it right. Right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, almost there. Almost got it. Do it right, guys. Do it right. Do it. Do it right. trying to do it right guys really from what like I do with the first one so let me see just be careful on the, the things that's all I can say okay right there got it uh oh no got it now Take it up, yep. Perfect, okay. Take it up, okay guys. This one I cannot do it like this one. But the best way guys is do it like that way. That's the best way. Let me try to put in position. Cause I can, that can damage the housing for the air. Uh, yeah, right there, I got it guys, you see? I got it right there and you don't have to be what about to put it back later. So, okay, now guys, we gotta disconnect the energy. We gotta disconnect the housing now we have to use guys always guys do not use power tools impact drills and start tip okay never never do that guys because they're gonna mess it up very well your 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 screws you're not gonna be able to take it up and remember you messed it up this one guys it's, it's not bad you have to go mechanic to redo the thrust and stuff because i can do that but i don't know you guys so first thing you want to do guys the motor's hot because I use parking like a few minutes ago and I go get the, part, the parts. So the, that's a good thing. Now you put your penetrating oils in every one. I'll show you. I put it in the first one right there. I put in this one here. This one here. This take guys in less than 30 minutes, but I do, try to do it my best to do it right, you know. I know guys, I don't need to change the other one in the back. But anyway, I got the part, so I'm gonna change anyways. And the price was around uh, a thousand, not like a thousand. Yeah, all right, like a 180, so. Okay, you let, you let it set for a little bit. I'm gonna receive and show you guys. Okay guys, without the tools and everything, guys, I've become to Spain in the doorman part 
more plus my uh, thing 352 that I spent today but the part cost me 288.99 plus the thing is a light warranty so you know okay, guys, next you step know. you're gonna do guys is gonna be this one guys you want to use the star tips so we're gonna try to find which one it is always guys this apart going together to arrange you have to do it slowly guys as you said it set a little bit the penetrating oil because i don't want to mess up the uh, screws now let's find out what number it is i think it's 1024 if i'm not wrong like this, for real. and i make sure what's going on inside and i know you can change the part and stuff but eh, that used me you know doing stuff like this to make a space for me guys first I put a more penetrating oil I let it set for, 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 for a little while now how how you want to use this guys like this you're gonna use your your start tip like this your wrench like this and you're gonna put everything together you see how everything fit you have to push here you see it's here and then push and you got the grip. Oh no, um, let me put my my gloves back. Because <laughs> I always touch the stuff without gloves. That's why I got my hands so cracking stuff, guys, because I always fixing stuff. So that's me. It's why this channel is called Christmas Fishing. I know you want to say it sounds crazy. First, he showed us about fishing, making stuff with wood, and now he ch teaches mechanic. Well, engineer, what I can tell you. So, okay, let's try again one screw. We're going to do one at a time, guys, slowly. Okay, first, we're going to try to see if we can make it work. Okay, now, the direction, okay, slowly, we're gonna fit and go slowly, like I say guys, you don't have to do it too fast, if I don't open guys, it's okay, give it time, other one here, it's giving up, oh no, yeah, it's giving up, slowly guys, you don't have to do fast, slowly, okay, that's really expensive thing, you oh yeah see. baby, this is stuck, open for sure oh my god look at this jesus let me see that one's close but i really jacked up guys i can say uh, i can say that guys oh my god look at this Ay! well that's what it is so we're going to change this one and change the other one and i'll just test it right now yeah guys air is coming through all the way through, I use blowing, air is coming through. That's what it is, you can clean it, whatever, but you know, gasket and stuff, so whatever, so. Eh, we're gonna replace the whole thing, so I wanna show you. Yeah, guys, that's really bad, guys. Really, really bad. That's why the air is coming inside through. I wanna show you the gasket, you need a small screwdriver, guys. Like I said, guys, do not remove those until you make the change, I'll show you later. Let me keep, keep on taking out the thing slowly. Let's go, let's go forget what I do it now guys but take me a long time because two screws broke on me so I was doing use my typical work with my hand and broke broken but I was able to take it out you can see it here <sighs> guys it's really really frustrating when you broke a screw and you try to take it out back and forth and it's not easy but I was able to take it out the part and you know whatever so I was checking the seals I got everything ready now guys you gonna ask me if now why well, got it sound to penetrate oil here and that was what I used for that reason guys but I got the other thing here do you want to say why well, Santo got it like a brake uh, thing you know like a brake cleaner I know they're supposed to be using this guys okay for use for brakes but I like it because this disgrace everything and you can see this part right here guys is black because the uh from the back well not the back fire the thing going through the uh, system I just clean it the best I can guys, nothing can go here wrong, you know, because if a little problem guys, it's going to show again guys, because the way I do it now, and you know what I mean, so, okay guys, I want to show you the parts, so this is the part guys, it's bad, you can see the gasket, it's bad, I was testing this one right here, and, and I blow inside, yeah guys, air going through that one, supposed to be used one got it bad but I, I test the other one and it's bad too guys you can hear yep Eric's coming outside too and yeah and and that one too I supposed to be sealed 100 percent but eh anyways I'm gonna replace them in the same way I just want to clean up very well the area 
And you can see the seals, guys. Nasty. Some guys they say they can clean it and it's gonna work okay, but I don't think so, guys. I think it's better replace them, you know. Everything cost me like a 288, but eh, better than pay three thousand dollars for the whole repair, you know. So I'm gonna take my time to clean it very well, very right, put the parts right, and you know, let's go, let's go.